She's the instructor, right? Ariane. Mm -hmm. Welcome to yoga. We're going to start seated in easy cross legged position. It's been a little bit of a crazy afternoon. So I think what I'd like to do. And look at that. My door just fell. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think what I'd like to do is settle myself a little bit. And I think I'd invite you to join me. I'm going to place my right hand on my heart center and my left hand on my belly. Take a deep breath and kind of drop in to my body here. So let's do a series of 10 breaths. And on each exhale, we're going to visualize the number that we're on. So we're going to inhale and on the exhale, we'll visualize one and then two, all the way to 10. And we're going to try and lengthen the breath as we go and just drop into the body. You can begin whenever you're ready. Focusing on the exhale, trying to lengthen that exhale each time. Focusing on how the body responds to the inhale. The belly fills, the chest lifts. Breathing in and out through the nose. Rooting the sits bones, lifting the top of the head. And go ahead and just release the arms down to the mat, pointing the fingertips out on the diagonal. That's going to let you lengthen a little taller. Make sure your shoulders are over your hips so that engages your abs. We're going to inhale and lift the arms up above the head. Raise the chin to the ceiling. And exhale, take that arm over to the right. Left arm comes to the mat and we're looking under the right armpit, opening up the chest to the ceiling. Dropping the scapulas down the back, rooting the opposite hip. See if we can get that elbow down to the mat and then push into the floor, recover. Inhale, both arms up. Lengthen, 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 looking up. Exhale, turn the head under the armpit, root the opposite hip. Open up the chest towards the ceiling, breathe. Hmm, maybe take a nice big sigh and recover. One more time, deep inhale, reaching towards the heavens. Exhale, arms come forward and release the head, heavy head all the way down. And just breathe here. Again, let's root those hips and lift the belly button towards the spine, trying to get that curve really activated in the spine.
couple deep breaths. If you want, you can continue to visualize on the exhale, the number of your breaths, just to help you focus just on the breathing, nothing else. Take the hands over to the right side, over the right knee, root the left hip, drop the forehead down onto the knee. <clears throat> Find that expansive diagonal line from the tip of the left fingers all the way across this back, the left side of the back down into that right hip. And then slide the hands over to the left side. <clears throat> if you want, you can rest your forehead on the knee. We're just slowly waking up the body here and also being very gentle as we ease into our practice. And coming center, walking the hands back up very slowly, taking the hands behind the pelvis, fingertips forward, inhale. Squeeze the chest, chin to chest, squeeze the uh, elbows, shoulders together behind you. And exhale, press the pelvis off the floor onto your uh, shins if you can. I'm not really on the front of my legs, but I'm letting that head drop back and see if we can engage the glutes and release. Slowly, 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 when you're ready. Uncross those legs, give them a little massage. And before we do the other side, let's take the hands up and do a few just very gentle pancake abs. Arms here, we're gonna inhale. Slowly come forward. My feet are flexed. I'm coming about five inches forward, maybe six inches, and then exhale up. Keep the elbows back. Inhale, little pancake. Flat abs. Also, this is working the back muscles. Just keep going. See if you can keep that long spine nice and slow. Exhale as you come up. See if you can lengthen those elbows back. This is another way to bring the breath in parallel with the movement of the body. Greetings all, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. We're doing some little pancake core engagement, wake up exercises, good. And then let's just do a few little teeter tots right here, just to stretch the rib cage. Elbow reaches down and recover and down and recover, good. And let's take the legs and cross them again with the other leg in front and see if you can remember which one it was. <laughs> or on top, if that's more comfortable for you. All right, fingertips pointing down, lengthening the spine, belly button reaches towards the spine, engage that core, inhale, look up. And we'll, instead of just staying to one side this time, let's do a few rainbows here. So we're gonna move through this stretch, rooting the opposite hip each time, we come to one side. See if you can drop that elbow a little closer to the mat with each rainbow curve. Just luxuriate in this sway. Ah, oh, good. And maybe come up and then imagine that you are at the bottom of the ocean and your sits bones are rooted into the bottom of the ocean and your upper body just flows with the current of the water. So try different 
diagonal motions, circular motions, maybe if there's a, this is really gonna wake up your core, your back muscles, but also kind of just let you drop into this natural flow rhythm. Find your breath. Good. All right, let's take a nice deep breath, scooping that energy in around us, up, reaching up towards the ceiling and forward, hands come forward, round the back. And this time let's take the fingertips as far forward as they can go. Heavy head, maybe take out nice big sigh here. <sighs> Lift the belly button towards the spine. Root the hips, both of them. Do what feels good here. Maybe you want to rock your head no a little bit. Let's take the hands to the left. Root the right hip. And swoop across to the right side. Root the left hip. And back to center. And on the exhale, walk those hands nice and slow. Take the hands behind the pelvis. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders back. Drop the chin to the chest. <clears throat> Exhale, lift the pelvis off the floor. Drop the head back. Maybe it only comes a few inches off the floor. That's fine. Breathe here. On the exhale. Take the pelvis down, extend those legs in front of you. We're gonna do a little uh, waterfall movement here, <clears throat> finding our L, flex, feet are flexed. We're gonna inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna start with those fingertips pouring down like a waterfall, then the head, then the shoulders, then the rib cage, then the waist, and then pour over the legs. So it's a continuous flow. The upper body just rolls down and then out over the legs. And let's do that three more times. You might even wanna make the sound of the wave crashing. And then when you've done that, reverse the, the wave come through the flat back and then roll back up to the L. Last thing to come up over the fingertips. So we're easing into our forward fold. We're just finding that ooey gooey kind of liquidy flow in our joints and in our muscles. Good, let's take the hands behind. The pelvis, fingertips forward, inhale, squeeze the shoulders behind you, chin to chest. Exhale, lift the pelvis. This time, let's just keep the chin tucked or you can have a look at the ceiling. Breathe. Press out of those shoulders. We don't wanna be sinking down between the two shoulders. Yeah, we're pressing out of the shoulders. On the exhale, lower down. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna do something a little different now. I did this with my yoga class that I'm teaching um, students and it, worked, it was really fun. So I'm gonna try it with you guys. Let's come down on our backs. <clears throat> we're gonna start with glutes and core here just to get hot. So let's bring our feet flat on the floor. Uh, uh, not too close to the sits bones, yeah? 
<clears throat> oh, I don't know, four inches, five inches, hands down by our sides. We're gonna come into a nice bridge, but the first thing we're gonna do before we press up is just scoop the belly button down towards the spine and get that nice pelvic tilt happening. And that immediately gets our glutes engaged. Do you feel that? Little, little glute engagement right there before we even lift. Then once the glutes are engaged, we're gonna press up into our half bridge. Now you can stay here and breathe and focus on your breath. If you want an additional challenge, you can lift the right leg off the floor, foot flexed, and then do a little march, switching with the left. And each time you bring the foot to the floor, I want you to re-engage that scoop of the pelvis. So you can continue with your marches. We would do about 10. Exhale as you bring the leg down. Inhale, exhale. Resetting the pelvis. Or if you don't want to march, you can always just stay in glute and bridge. Looking good. I see some feet sticking up. And when you're ready, go ahead and vertebrae by vertebrae drop down onto your spine. So do you notice how you immediately got a little bit of heat generated there in your body? Well, I know I did. Whew. So just rock back and forth. Give yourself a little minute here. <clears throat> Squeeze those knees towards your chest. Maybe do a couple ankle circles. And then we're gonna go right back. Same thing, little change though. First engage that pelvic tilt, yeah? And then feel the belly button reaching down into the floor. And then press the feet into the floor to lift your pelvis. <clears throat> Again, you can stay here, you can go back to the marches, or if you want, you can extend the right leg, foot flexed, bring it down, bring it back up, and then send it back into the bridge. Extend the left, bring it up, extend it down, bring it down to bridge. Keep resetting that pelvis whenever you can think about it, whenever it comes to mind. Keep switching from right to left. You may not be as high up in your bridge as you usually are because we're doing these mobility movements here. That's okay. <clears throat> Let's do about four more sets. So four more on each side. Two more. You can always go to regular bridge and just hold bridge. If this gets to be hurting in a way that's not good. <laughs> but challenging ourselves is always a good thing. And then when you're done with your tent, slowly with control, vertebrae by vertebrae, back down to the mat. Woo, yeah, feel that. Let that just kind of sink in. Hug the knees, maybe give them a little circle to the right. And to the left. Good. <clears throat> Let's take the legs up in the air, just shake them out a little bit. All right. 
Take the legs and extend them on the mat. We're gonna go into some core work here. <clears throat> it's gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna move from this extended position. Big inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna come up to boat. You can do that 10 times. If you want, you can bring the feet down on the mat and just do the inhale with your arms above the head and the exhale coming up with the feet on the floor. The added challenge is to extend the full body on the inhale and exhale, come into boat. 10 times, inhale, exhale. Slow and controlled, that's the other thing. We're not zipping through this. We're really trying to be mindful about that long extension and the way that that boat is shaped. Use your breath. Good. Woo. Take a little, little moment. Shake it out. Maybe bring your knees up and let them fall to the right and the left. Good. All right, let's just take the knees uh, together and let them fall to the right and then drop the knees, let's drop the feet a little bit lower down towards the bottom of your mat. Let's take the left hand on the diagonal and let's just feel that diagonal stretch from the left fingertips all the way down the side of the rib cage down to the top of that left knee. Just breathe for a minute. And you can look over your left shoulder too, if that feels good. And then recover. Let the knees fall to the left and then move the feet slowly down towards the bottom of your mat, just to drop those knees a little. And then let's take the right hand up on the diagonal. And let's look over our right shoulder. Gentle spinal twist, but really kind of more of a rib cage twist here. <sighs> All right, recover. <clears throat> We're gonna take the legs up in the air, arms above our head, inhale. Exhale, reach towards the toes. <laughs> inhale, hold, exhale, squeeze a little bit higher, reach for those toes and inhale, come on down. Four more, exhale up, inhale, hold. Exhale, squeeze, punch that belly button towards the stomach. Inhale, recover. Exhale up. Inhale, hold. Exhale, reach. Inhale, recover. Two more. Good. Let's let those legs come down for a count of eight, lowering down to the ground. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and 
One, good. All right, let's hug those knees to the chest and let's do a little rock and roll here, a couple ups and downs, just to kind of massage that back onto the mat. All the way up to sitting. Good. All right. <clears throat> let's get on our hands and knees and do a few cat cow. Let's get a hand right underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, inhale, exhale round. Inhale, arch, exhale round. Good. Next time you find yourself in neutral, go ahead and take the knees a little wider than the ankles. We're going to actually add a little bit of a movement here. We're going to round the back in cat or no, in cow. <laughs> and then push into a kind of wide-legged prayer. And then we're going to bend the elbows and come through cat, chest to the floor, and come up, back through round. So we kind of move through a baby cobra. This should feel really good. We're gonna cow back into a wide-legged prayer, and then cat through into cobra and cow back. <laughs> cat, cobra, cow. Cat, cobra, cow. Woo! Why don't we try the reverse? See how that goes. Cow. Cobra, cat, ooh, that engages those triceps. Cow, cobra, cat. Sort of a cat, but it's really close to the floor. And then I'll meet you just in this wide leg prayer. <clears throat> Let's take the hands over to the right. Big side. And then over to the left. And then center. Let's come into our plank position. So go ahead and tuck those toes. And then when you're ready, come into a nice full plank. We're going to rev the engine here. Just kind of rocking back and forth on the, on the uh, balls of our feet. Core is engaged. We're getting ready to rev that engine. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Now let's push all the way back and bend the knees. Bend those knees like you're about to pounce and then push into plank. Bend the knees, pushing back, the hips back and then push into plank three more times. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, hold and breathe. <clears throat> 15 counts right here, just hold and breathe.
and knees and chest and chin and down to the belly. And let's do a baby cobra. Let's pull the mat towards us as we drop the shoulders and lift the head, but tight buttocks. Breathe. And lower down and see if you can go straight back up to plank. Straight back up to plank. Woo! Good. And then let's come into down dog. <clears throat> Tread that dog. Right knee bends, left knee bends. Lift the heels. Lower the heels. And we're going to do that again, revving the engine five times, bend the knees. This time you can switch your feet, pushing into plank and lifting the right foot off the ground, and then the left. Or you can just keep the feet on the floor, whatever you want. Inhale back, exhale forward. If you're doing your legs, you need to do one extra because we've got two legs and we need to be even. Let's come on down onto our knees and rest those wrists for a second. Shake them out. If you've got blocks and you want to use them, we're gonna go into camel. Place them behind you. Hmm. Take those blocks on the edge, squeeze the shoulders behind you, chin to chest, inhale, exhale, press the pelvis forward. Now, if you want, you can do camel right here with the hands on your back, fingertips facing forward, uh, down, and just send the elbows back and lift the chin, tight booty. Or you can do it with blocks, or you can do it without blocks and just hold on to your ankles. On the exhale, release when you're ready. Grab some water. We're going to mark the end of our warm up by doing our pranayama. Oops, something's just popped up. I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't know what that is. How are you guys doing? Am I going too fast? Oh, I got two thumbs up. Okay, good. I'm getting, sometimes I get ahead of myself. All right. So if this hurts your knees to be on your knees, you can double up your mat. I just like to be on my knees for this because it feels like I have enough room to drop my fingertips. Sometimes when I'm sitting, I'm too close to the floor. So we're gonna do 20 breaths, inhaling, reaching towards the sky, exhale, coming through prayer. Play with your timing, play with the pressure that you give your exhale. <clears throat> and let's re revitalize our body with 20 deep breaths. Whenever you're ready, you can begin. Three more. Awesome. 
On that last one, let's stay up. Interlace the fingers the way you usually do not interlace them. Send the palms to the ceiling. Walk the right shoulder up the ladder, then the left, then the right, then the left, then the right, then the left. One more step, right, left. Keep that space while you let the arms float out and down. Let's come. Let's see. What do we do? Ooh. All right. We're going to come onto uh, you know, onto all fours, and then we're going to step forward with. I'm going to step forward with my left, so I can for, uh, face you guys. <clears throat> So we're just gonna come up to an easy arch here with the pelvis forward. Now, if you want, you can take the hands in prayer and put them down at the nape of your neck, sending the elbows out to the side and down and breathe here. Good. Now see if you can tuck that back toe and come up into a low lunge. Yeah, beautiful. Elbows are out, up. You can take the arms up if you want. Good. Let's take the hands to the mat. <clears throat> And what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the right hand on the floor and the left hand come up to a twist. And then we're going to either stay here if you want to remain in the twist, or we're gonna curve that arm down and then try to drop the forearm to the floor and then come up again. So it's a little bit of like a twisty kind of moving thing. We curve and drop and then we press up and twist. Let's do about seven of these if you're doing them with me. And if you're staying in twist, just breathe. So we get a little one arm push up here also with the right semi push up. And I'm really curving that, that left arm through the leg. And then when you're ready, you just come back to a runner's lunge. And let's drop that knee and kickstand the foot behind the knee, come on to the right side, bring the toes forward on the left leg, swoop the right arm forward, press the pelvis forward slightly, and let's just do a nice gait here. <clears throat> so we've got the left leg extended. Good. Breathe. This is our little rest <clears throat> after that little power moment. Let's take the hands to the, in front of us on the floor. And we're gonna do a little rock and roll here. One-legged prayer. We're gonna stretch out that inner thigh on the left side. So you can stay here with the pelvis back on the heel or you can do a little rock and roll forward and back. <clears throat> or you can do both. You can hang out for a while and breathe. And then you can come back up. All right. Let's take the hands to the waist. And we're going to actually kick stand. Actually, take the hands to the back. <laughs> kick stand back into this runner stretch. So the left leg is flexed, the left foot is flexed. And we're gonna do another little waterfall flow here, kind of like the one we did with cat and cow. We're gonna arch down, bending the elbows out, and then round up. That's our theme today. I don't know what it is, it's like a water theme. <laughs> 
beautiful slow theme. So we're arching on the way down. Keep that foot flexed and rounding up. Again, I've got my fingers propped in a kind of a pyramid form, but if you want, you can have them flat on the ground. Couple more. Keep that left pelvis pulled back. Good. All right, now we're going to do our little rock forward with the pelvis. We're going to tuck that back toe and lift the knee off the ground. We're going to drop the right heel down. And then we're going to bring the left hand in front of the left foot and straighten the left leg to come into triangle. So we're coming into triangle from a different direction today. Yeah. Take a look up at the ceiling. See if you can get that torso flat with the parallel with the floor. <clears throat> if you need to grab your block, go ahead and do it. I love my blocks. They're totally pieces of crap, but I love them. They're like falling apart. All right, this is gonna be a bit of a challenge. So we're gonna look down. We're gonna bend the left leg. We're gonna take the block, if we have one, out a little bit, about a foot from our, I have to adjust myself, I'm gonna hit the wall. About a foot in front of our left leg, and we're going to come up into half moon, which we have not done in many moons. <laughs> ah. And I'm really struggling to hold it while I laugh. Okay, no laughing. So if you wanna try that again, yeah? We're coming onto the left leg and we're just moving into half moon, lifting the leg, foot is flexed. You can take your hand to your waist or you can take your hand, now I'm falling all over the place, up towards the ceiling, and then you can take your focus up towards the ceiling. My right hip is stacked on top of my left hip. When you're ready, Lunge that leg back down and get into that runner's lunge, hands on either side of the foot, and then let's come back to down dog. Down dog is a resting spot, a home base. Good, take a couple of deep breaths here. And let's come into plank and let's hold plank, 15 counts. If you want, you can lift the right leg off the ground. And then switch. Good, all right, knees come down. Let's take the right leg forward. <clears throat> Press that pelvis forward gently and let's take the arms up, looking at where the ceiling meets the wall. You can stay here or prayer the hands and let them fall to the nape of the neck. Drop the shoulders and send the elbows back. We're going to do all of that on the other side. Hands come up. Actually, hands stay there. Tuck the toe and come in to that low lunge. That's a challenge right there. Just getting into that low lunge. We could have taken the easy route and put our hands down. And that's always an option. <laughs> always an option. Let's come into a twist. The right arm is coming up. The left arm is on the ground. On other left arm, shoulder. Other, other arm is on the ground, sure. Switch, yeah. Left arm is on the ground. There you go. All right. 
Now we're gonna either stay here or we're gonna do our little curve. Here we go. Curve the forearm down to the floor and then twist back up. And then curve. And you can even look over your left shoulder when you do that curve. Four more. Good. We're gonna drop the knee and we're gonna kickstand that foot behind the knee, come onto it, turn, I'm gonna turn around so I can see you guys. Right leg is forward, left arm comes up, inhale, and then exhale, eight. Woo, slow and steady. Good, open up the chest. Yes, and recover. If this hurts your knee, you guys, go ahead and put some layers underneath there. Hands come forward. We're gonna stretch out that inner thigh <clears throat> on the right side. So you can pull the hips back to the heel and stay there, or you can do a little gentle rock, rock forward and back. Good, this is our recovery time. All right, coming back onto the knee and then let's um, kickstand the, again, the foot behind the left knee till we're in this runner's stretch. Sometimes I actually have to pick up my foot and move it where I need it to be. <clears throat> I've got my hands on either side of my leg, my front leg, my right leg, and I'm going to arch on the way down and round on the way up. Exhale, down, inhale, up. Or whatever pattern feels right to you. It may be the opposite of that. All right, we're gonna roll the hips forward. We're gonna tuck that back toe, come off, bring the knee off the ground, drop the back heel, straighten that right leg and press into triangle, opposite side. So you need to get a block if you, if you can't straighten that leg. Now again, you don't wanna lock it, yeah? You want it to kind of lengthen. Whew. Yes. Beautiful yogis. Breathe here. One last power move, bend that right leg. Move your hand out and, for, and forward slightly. Push off onto the right leg and then lift the left leg in the air. Take your right left hand to your hip. Open up the chest into half moon. And then if you can, take the arm out.
We're gonna lunge back <clears throat> into that runner's lunge with either uh, with hands on either side of the right foot. And then we're gonna press back into down dog. And then we're gonna walk those feet into a forward fold and hang out here for a second. Shake out the knees, wag the tail, shake the head yes, shake the head no. And on the exhale, let's bend the knees over the toes and slowly, slowly, slowly come up to standing. Woo. All right, grab some water. Let me check the time. All right. <clears throat> Let's come to the front of our mats. Come into chair. Nice deep chair. Beautiful. We're going to inhale. On the exhale, we're going to lift that right thigh to our chest. We're going to tap it five times. And we're going to send the right leg back, drop the heel, and open up into warrior two. Good. We're just going to do a few little pumps here, up and down, just gently riding the wave, straightening it, and then bending that leg, coming into the lunge a little deeper each time, and then finding Warrior two, one more time, and let's come into reverse warrior. Beautiful. And return. And let's take that elbow down to the thigh and then bring the right arm up, pressing the pelvis forward. And then you can stay here or you can parallel the arms if you want. And then using that front leg, let's push up into star, bringing those toes forward. We're going to take the hands to the waist and do a nice flat back forward all the way down into pyramid. Grab those ankles. Give yourself a beautiful stretch here. Big inhale, big exhale. <clears throat> take the hands to the waist. Come back up. And then let's bring the left leg to the right and turn to the top of our other top of our mat. <laughs> Come into chair. Find that deep, nice, steady, grounded chair. Five taps with that left thigh coming up to the chest. Belly button lifted. After the fifth one, send that leg back, drop the heel, come into warrior two on the opposite side. You can stay here in warrior two, or you can do a few gentle pulses, riding the wave, coming down into that lunge a little deeper. Each time you ground yourself down into the warrior pose, like you're massaging your warrior. And then when you're ready, 
reverse. And bringing that elbow all the way forward and down, sweeping the left arm up, pressing the pelvis forward, looking under that left armpit, opening up the chest, parallel the arms if you want. And press into the ground with that right leg, bring the toes forward. And let's actually know, let's bring the heels in and let's come down into goddess. Ooh. And you can actually take the arms out to the knees as well. Let's do star and then goddess, bringing the arms down. Five of these, inhale, exhale. Good. Hands come to prayer. Let's push up. <clears throat> Coming. We're going to finish out with another little flow thing that I've discovered. <laughs> Let's do a roll down, starting in mountain at the bottom of our mat, starting with the head and then the shoulders and the rib cage and the waist all the way down into forward fold. And then let's take some weight into the hands and bend the knees. Walk the hands out into plank. Last time we're gonna hold plank today. If you want, you can hold here, or if you want, you can just bring the knees up one at a time. 15 counts. Good. We're going to do a chaturanga. Three count chaturanga, lowering three, two, and one. Okay. This is really fun. I hope you <laughs> like it as much as I do. Take the feet a little bit outside of the mat. So they're a little bit like in a V shape. Our hands are going to come out to the side of our chest with our fingertips propped up, creating a little pyramid. Your forehead is on the floor. We're going to inhale, spread the scapulas out behind you. On the exhale, we're going to, I'm sorry, we're going to inhale and look up into this wide leg cobra. Exhale, stick out that tongue and make yourself into a cobra. <laughs> Inhale up. You don't have to stick out your tongue, but I like it. Exhale down. Inhale up, really push into that floor. Exhale down. Three more. Feel the power of your cobra. You could strike someone down with that exhale. Last one. Good. All right, take the feet together and just let them fall right to left and lift the hips off the ground. <clears throat> kind of circle those knees, circle those feet. Find your way into prayer or child's pose. Breathe into that back. Let's do a rabbit right here. Just after doing cobra, let's grab hold of the ankles. Inhale, take the top of the head to the floor. On the exhale, lift the pelvis off the heels and send the lower back to the ceiling. And 
recover. All right, yogis, we're gonna find our way down onto the mat. Inhale on our backs. Big stretch, hands above the head. On the inhale, squeeze everything nice and tight. Hold the breath and really clench everything, everything, everything. Don't forget the face. On the exhale, drop into the floor. And let's just drop into deep relaxation, Shavasana. Breathe. Honor the work you've done today by letting it settle in your body, in your mind, in your heart. Begin to bring yourself back to the room. <clears throat> or you can stay in Shavasana if you want to finish the class in resting pose. Find your way to a seated position or just bring your hands to prayer. And we'll seal our practice today with awareness and acknowledgement of all of the little twists and turns and pushes and pulls and rises and falls we did in the last hour. And honor that work, that gift that we gave ourselves of challenging and tolerating and celebrating such a gift. Thank you for being here. The spirit in me salutes the spirit in you. Namaste. Thanks for